one's not as straightforward. So the first thing I notice, guys, though, is I immediately see, I immediately see product rule. Does everybody else see a product rule? Yes? So that's very important, because even though there's a lot of words that are going, a lot of letters, arc, tan, I know that that is just the inverse function of tangent. So even though there's a lot going on there, I see product rule. And that's important, because if I want to find product rule, first thing is going to be 1 times arc tan a square root of x. Well, guys, there's nothing I can really do there. That's just going to remain there, right? I mean, that's it. Done. The next one, though, is going to be x times now the arc tan of square root of x. So again, applying our inverse tangent, what you see what we're going to have is we're going to multiply this, bless you, 1 over 1 plus whatever my inside of my function is squared. Well, the inside of my function is the square root of x. And then times the square root of uh, the derivative of the square root of x, which hopefully by this point we feel pretty comfortable with the derivative being that. Correct? Yes? OK. But it's really important now to kind of, as we go back to simplifying this, to kind of understand a couple terms here. We know this is going to be plus. So I'm just going to kind of keep on like doing some simplifying things here on the right side, because I know this is never changing. Um, I can write the x on top, right? This is really x over 1. And in the denominator here, I have, well, what's the square root of x squared is just going to be x. So that's 1 plus x. Notice that this 2 is in the denominator, though. So that's going to be multiplied by 2. And you can also have x to the, you could say square root of x, or you could say x to the 1 half power is also in the denominator. Would you guys agree with me? Yes? Now, there's a, a couple things that, um, and so therefore we could simplify the answer would just be um, you know, 2 square root of x times 1 plus x all over x, right? We also, if you guys wanted to, you guys could also think about this as fractions. Really, this is x over 1 to the 1 half. What happens when you guys divide fractions? Or when you divide, you subtract? So another way to write this would look like this. And you could probably even simplify that even further. Well, actually, you can't because that's separated by addition. Right? 1 minus 1 half is 1 half. That's why I wrote that as a squared up there. Okay, So it still equals to the left side over there. I just want to give you guys this answer is correct. This answer is correct. This answer is correct. Right? So the main important thing is you can get to, well, the main important thing is you can get to here. Right? This actually, this answer is actually correct. But that's not very useful, is it? Right? I mean, obviously, on a, like an FRQ, you just need to like provide it and like, hey, I did the derivative. But on a multiple choice test, they're not going to write something like this. They're going to simplify it like this, most likely not. Like one of these two? Probably, right? So it's important for you guys to at least know what to get to there, but then also just to recognize how to um, simplify it or evaluate it.